cause of suicidal thinking in depression. Suicidal thoughts, also known as suicidal ideation, are thoughts about how to kill oneself. Suicide is the second leading cause of death in young people and depression is the main cause. Researchers from Manchester have identified increased inflammatory activation markers in the brains of people with major depressive disorder who report suicidal ideations. Published in the journal Biological Psychiatry on August 11, 2017, Peter S. Talbot, of Institute of Brain, Behavior and Mental Health, University of Manchester, United Kingdom, is the main author. The findings support recent research that anti-inflammatories may provide antidepressant effects for some patients. The study findings are the first results in living depressed patients to suggest that this microglial activation is most prominent in those with suicidal thinking. Previous studies suggesting this link have relied on brain tissue collected from patients after death. This paper is an important addition to the view that inflammation is a feature of the neurobiology of a subgroup of depressed patients, in this case the group with suicidal ideation. This observation is particularly important in light of recent evidence supporting a personalized medicine approach to depression. Anti-inflammatory drugs may have antidepressant effects that are limited to patients with demonstrable inflammation. In the study, Peter S. Talbot and colleagues assessed inflammation in 14 patients with moderate to severe depression who were not currently taking any antidepressant medications. Immune cells called microglia activate as part of the body's inflammatory response, so the researchers used a brain imaging technique to measure a substance that increases in activated microglia. The evidence for immune activation was most prominent in the anterior cingulate cortex of brain which is involved in mood regulation and concerned in the biological origin of depression. This confirms the results of a previous study that first identified altered microglial activation in medication-free major depressive disorder patients. Smaller increases were also found in the insular and prefrontal cortex. Two independent reports the present study and a 2015 report by Sasha Owen and colleagues in Toronto showing essentially the same thing. There is evidence for inflammation, more specifically microglial activation in the brains of living patients during a major depressive episode. This link suggests that among depressed patients, neuroinflammation may be a factor contributing to the risk for suicidal thoughts or behavior. These findings emphasize the importance of further research into the question of whether novel treatments that reduce microglial activation may be effective in major depression and suicidality. Thank you.